Good afternoon from windy and rainy London. We have just arrived a couple hours ago and we're just exploring, checking out this uh, Tottenham Stadium. And uh, my friend Jason here knows a lot more about it than I do, so tell us about it, Jason. Yeah, so this is a, um, I believe it's the newest stadium in the Premier League, not sure, but um, this is where Tottenham Hotspur plays. Um, and this stadium, I believe, is the first in the world to have like a retractable um, pitch. So they have a grass field up top. And this is where, when London hosts NFL games, um, it's uh, hosted here. And there's a synthetic turf field underneath the grass. So the grass actually comes apart in like six pieces or so. And it comes apart and it like kind of goes underground, I believe. And they store it underground. And there's lights there, which like helps grow the grass while it's there, and the turf field is displayed. So it's a really cool piece of architecture. So hopefully we get to uh, check it out. That's oh, no entry. So you said it's going to stairs, but I uh, don't think they're going to let us. So yeah, so we're out here braving the uh, the wind and the rain to explore London. Two Americans exploring London. Neither one of us has ever been here before. So yeah, should be fun and. Uh, don't make fun of us. I'm going to buy a Spurs jersey. So I think that's something you make fun of people for, but they're my team on so. FIFA. So. <laughs> that's my favorite player. This is Jason's favorite player right there. So yeah, we're making our way around the stadium. The iconic London double-decker buses. Here looks like the store, team store maybe. Shop oh, now. Yeah. Looks like it's open. So looks like we're in business in that sense. So we have, a, we have tools going out every 15 minutes, so oh. extremely close. Okay. Okay. So, would you like to start the next available one? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Jason, the money man. Hey Jason, how do you feel about this? Oh, this is sick. He's giddy as a schoolgirl. I just can't find the... Uh... No. I, I think it's over there, man. This guy was just talking to some people about the really nice game, huh? Man, where's the escalator to go up to the next part of the tour? Have you guys thought? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, like, are we supposed to wait for someone at the screen? Oh, I don't know. We're just, we're just, oh! Oh, are we supposed to wait for someone at the screen? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Thank Sorry, bro. We're extra dumb. So Jason, how do you feel? This is uh, pretty epic. I'm glad we put the little chicken back up, up top. <coughs> Really loud though, alright? 
Oh. Oh. That. It's the only time I'll ever be able to sit in these seats. <laughs> oh, it's actually comfortable. See these two over there. The last game of the season. Oh, that feels heated. Yeah, you're right. It is heated. Yeah, there's a button. <laughs> what? So they have heated seats here in the stadium. Dude, this is lit. Oh, mine's not lighting up. Oh, you gotta turn it up. There you go. Oh. Okay. I ain't leaving this. Shoot. We're driving. Must be nice to be in the upper first. crust. We're driving from Scotland on the first to come here. Yeah. Oh, you can go up there. <laughs> nah. But do they only have one tour? Actually, yeah, you can talk about it. Jason, how much did the tour cost? Uh, it was 30 pounds a piece, so I don't know how many dollars that is. Like 40. Probably somewhere in the 40 range. $40 each. And was there multiple types of tours, or was there just one? This was just the only one they told me, but like, uh, out of all the stadium tours I've been on, this has been so far my favorite, and we've just, I think we've just begun. So I, I would say it's well worth uh, 30 pounds a piece. There you go. And Jason's toured a lot of uh, stadiums, so his, uh, he knows what he's talking about. So here on the video, they show how the how they change over the field, all the technology and engineering involved. Really tried hard out there. Got unlucky. You know, lost two nil. Couldn't put the ball in the net. But you know. We're gonna go out there next game, you know, give it our all, get the dub. Thank you. We always lose, but it's usually not 2 0, it's usually much worse for us. I feel like I could probably suit up from uh, January 1st, you know, start me at striker, I'm scoring a hat trick. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Right back there. I don't know how much of that will actually make it in the video because I filmed a lot and it's, you know, there's only so much you can actually make it, but yeah, so Jason's got some swag, he's pretty happy. I'm uh. I guess I'm a Hotspur fan now. Like, I was kind of feeling like that was gonna be the vibe when I came here, you know? But this sealed the deal, so, uh, go, what, I don't even know what they say, like, go Spurs or something. So, hate them in the comments. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go, uh, maybe check into our hotel and then, um, go see if we can find some, uh, somewhere to hang out, get some drinks, so. Okay, so we're headed to our hotel room now. And we're gonna get checked in, hopefully. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed the hotel room's nice because uh, the neighborhood's not as nice as we were hoping. So, no. with the police siren in the background, <laughs> <laughs> Premier Inn. Let's find out if it's actually Premier or not. I don't know. It's not. Almost exclusively not. Uh, K J E N S T A D. And first name? Jason J A Y S. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A twin, right? Oh uh, yes. Two beds. Yeah. Yep. So a double and Jason. Yep. Perfect. Okay, we're in the elevator. Got our stuff. And so far, I'm not very optimistic. Four, two. About not helpful. Um, you know, I've probably stayed worse, but. 
Oh, it's behind us. Oh. Oh. Moment of truth. <laughs> this is our, uh, this is our arrangement. Okay, I mean, it's... It's fairly clean. It's okay. Yeah. It smells clean, looks clean. We do have actually two beds, as yep. opposed to, like, when, I, when she's like, yeah, two beds, double. I'm like, eh, it's going to be single. My, uh... Okay, not bad. We can, we can work with this, like... My number one um, requirement for a hotel room is it's clean. I think this fits it. Surviving this. There's the light. Here we go. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Oh, you gotta put the card, that's why. It's your bro, you gotta put the card in there, otherwise, we don't get power. Well, I'm here. And there we have power. Here we go. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. For two nights, I remember what we paid for it. Probably too much. Way too much. Hundred ninety-six pounds for two nights. Yeah, too much for this. But cheapest yeah. we could find, though. It was, yeah. Unless it was an absolute dump. Okay, so we're out just exploring our neighborhood here in uh, northwest London, and we came across this little uh, bar and restaurant here. We're gonna try it out and hope it's pretty good because we're kind of tired of looking, so fingers crossed. That's not bad. Hello? Hi. Hi. You guys open? Yeah, okay. Set. We got some beers, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our drinks and chill. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do some more exploring tonight. But we're so tired from the flight that we're probably just going to bed. So uh, yeah. But anyway, so not sure if this is the end of the video or not. So yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, so we ended up both having uh, spaghetti bolognese, and it was very tasty here at um, the Somme. So yeah, pretty good. And we're gonna walk around this neighborhood and explore a little bit, and then um, probably go home and crash. So okay, so we're back at our hotel now. We're gonna call it a night, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna be the end of this video and the start of another one, or I'll just continue tomorrow. So in any case, see you tomorrow.